Test, test, one, two, three. Test, test, one, two, three. We are live. Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. We are currently 8th of September 2024, currently 3.12 p.m. in the UK. And another really, really good week in the markets. Before I start and show you the trades that I have got in and everything that's hit the strategy, ticked all those trade criterias and good to go and all that great stuff. I would like to say that this strategy is for intermediate traders. I would say it's not really for beginners. So if you're a brand new trader, I mean, I should have mentioned this right at the start, but you know, we learn as we go along with this kind of stuff, but this strategy is really for intermediate traders. So if you're a beginner, brand new to the channel, brand new to this strategy, and you are following along, which is great, you can do that. However, it's probably best for you to go and take a Forex 101 course just to understand, you know, what pips are, what market structure is, the highs, the lows, all that good stuff, because I don't really have that much time. Well, I say I don't have time. I do have time to teach all that stuff, and I will be releasing a course in the future. However, this is just diving straight into the strategy. So... If you're brand new to trading, I would go onto YouTube or wherever you, wherever else you think's best and just learn the basics. So Forex 101, I mean, I've just found this one here. I don't know if it's any good, but Forex 101 course, market structure, there's quite a lot of videos in there. So I would do that, have a bit better understanding of what's kind of going on and then jump straight back to this strategy. Okay, so moving on, the first trade that I posted for the week was on gold. Uh, where are we? Yep, we are gold, gold, gold. Yep, gold was the first trade that I posted, and I think that was on September the 3rd. So if I come straight to here, uh, this white line I've just put here, so this is the start of the trading week, so Monday. And then the 3rd of September, which was a Tuesday, the trade criteria was hit and price was below the 62 EMA. Prices shot up through the EMA. They had the 13 EMA alert go off. So went in for a sell and caught this move down here. So let's just grab this... Uh, arrow here so sold here and then caught this move down here and then cashed out there okay so if we go back to here i caught this slightly late because i was out and about actually in scotland i was on a holiday this week and whilst in scotland i was just taking the trades on my phone as and when they were coming through However, I caught this one slightly late just because I was, I can't remember what I was doing now. If I was walking out and about somewhere and I think I was on top of some very, very high hill. <laughs> so uh, that's the reason why I for catching this one on the slightly late side. However, I still managed to catch it nevertheless and it was a beautiful trade to catch. Uh, moving on to the next trade was US 30. So US 30 was another great trade. So let's just jump straight into US 30. US 30. So the reason why I sold US 30, although we were above the 62 EMA, we've had this massive uptrend, uh, been bullish for quite some time. So I was expecting the reversal to happen at some point and I was anticipating a breakthrough of the 62 EMA at some point and the alert actually went off with the 5 and the 13 EMA crossing over right here. So just grab my arrow so you can definitely see where I'm mentioning. So the crossover happened here, the alert went off, went in for two cells which is here that's gone off, gone in for two cells 
and this just started to tank quite hard it actually broke through the 62 ema uh which is which is great so tp1 actually got smacked because i had that around the 62 ema tp2 or the twin trade was was still in price come up and the alert went off again because price has gone through the 13 ema and then the 62 ema alert actually also went off so beautiful entry or signal to sell again so that's exactly what i've done i sold again uh, us 30 part two so as you can see sold there bang bang and then price price started to yeah we tap the 62 ema once again price slammed down it come back up price has gone through the 13 ema once again and once more it's actually gone through the 62 ema so another opportunity to sell right there and currently we are looking like we're going to be bearish next week so really good trades on us 30 and um yeah very happy with uh, us 30 finally playing games which is uh, good to see and lastly ended up on gold went in for a buy so the buy was on the 5th of september so just finishing up on gold metals gold okay so with gold i've closed all my trades prices come back up we then had the 5 and the 13 ema crossover so opportunity to buy there i think that's i actually did buy when the crossover happened and then you also have the 62 ema crossover so you had all three emas crossing over so this is a very strong signal to to buy or the market's going to reverse so two opportunities to get in with the alerts going off i went in for a couple of buyers there as, as you can see from the telegram and then tp1 i had on this buy there so tp1 got smacked there which was great and then i think i see price start to reverse so i closed my trade i didn't go in for the sell because it was a friday and i tend to not really get in on trades on the afternoon reason being is because one if you leave trades over the weekend you have the swap fee the next thing that can happen potentially that happens most of the time actually is on monday when the market reopens you will you will sometimes see a gap appear so although the market is officially closed for forex and metals it actually is still buying and selling behind the background over the weekend so the although the market has stopped here and we can't see anything happening here over the weekend the prices are still moving up and down and that's why on monday price doesn't just resume where it last was on friday you will see it gap and price could for example start there um or price could even i've seen it sometimes you do get some big gaps it you know you never know it could even start there and when the market does reopen you can get caught out in these gaps so you could one you could be in a lot of profit or two you could be in a lot of drawdown and a lot of negative balance for your account plus you got the swap fees so that's why a lot of traders do not hold their trades over the weekend so that's why i don't really like to trade on the friday afternoons nevertheless if you did want to trade friday afternoon this trade i say this this market gold 
you did get the five and the 13 crossover. And again, it did slam through the 62 EMA. So you could have sold up here and you could have banked some pips, uh, made some money if you was on the chart. I reckon this, this candle here started around 6 p.m. So if you was in the charts around 6 p.m. when this candle formed, then fair play could have made some money on that. Finishing up on EU, I'm not sure if I took any trades with EU. I think uh, there was a great opportunity. I can't really remember now. I haven't looked at my trade history. But we did have the 5.13 EMA crossover happen on Wednesday. So this would have been a beautiful buy. I think I did get in, to be honest with you. Because uh, my alerts went off. So, catching a buy there. Uh, how many pips is this? If you caught the entire move. So, from here to here. Around 80 pips. So, that would have been a great trade to catch. And price is currently finished up on Friday evening. Where it's now below the 62 EMA. So potentials for some sales for next week, maybe we will see. And yeah, let's just see how the how the market plays out. Finishing up now on the Forex Factory. So this is the market news for next week. Monday looks quiet. I like to just focus on the red news. There, that's the high impact moves that should move the market the most. And what do we have? What do we have? Tuesday, GBP, there's news at 7 in the morning. I'm not really looking at GBP at this moment in time. Canadian, uh, GBP again on Wednesday. United States dollar, this could potentially move the market on Wednesday at 1.30 p.m. UK time. Thursday, there is a bit of news on the United States dollar and the euro. And then finishing up on Friday, nothing really at all. And just a my bad moment from last week. My bad, my bad. I think I mentioned that NFP was the last Friday of the month. However, this time round, it actually was the first Friday of the month. So that was actually last week. So or the last Friday of the month, I should say. So NFP was actually Friday the 30th. Um, I think it all depends. I need to read up again on the NFP because I always thought it was the... Uh, I can't even remember what I mentioned now. Last Friday. Okay. Maybe, maybe I did say it right. NFP, yeah. No, it was it was last Friday. Sorry, I um this holiday's taken out on me. So um i I did I think I did mention it was the last Friday of the month. So NFP did happen on the on the on the Friday. But I'll have to look back anyways. But NFP was on that Friday and that's why we had some crazy moves happen. And hopefully you caught some moves with this strategy. Let me know if you're trading this strategy, how you're getting on with it. If you're in the Trade Masters Telegram group, please do join. It's free. So as we finish up now, Trade Masters is free to join for everyone. Link in the description. My broker is FP Markets. I have the affiliate link if you are thinking about joining them because we get to trade lower lot sizes on the market such as indices and cryptocurrency, which is pretty cool. And TradingView, I'm also an affiliate. So if you're looking for the minimum 20 alerts which work best for the strategy, again, check out my affiliate link in the description. And every Monday I will post the financial market news in the description just so you can see what's going to happen in the week ahead so another really great week trading the markets this is part eight of the 51362 ema strategy signing out and let's have another killer week see ya